Thanks for joining us. I'm Jamie Costello. Well, no wonder you can't sleep. Here we are weeks away from school starting and you're sweating to see if the bus picks your kid up and whether you'll have a teacher. So what is happening with our schools? Let's begin tonight on the bus stop with WMAR2 News Ashley McDowell. Ashley. Well, Jamie, the wheels on the bus won't be going round and around if the public school system doesn't see more applicants for transportation. Bus driver shortage continues to be an uphill battle for schools across Maryland. This is an ongoing issue that has um, plagued school systems like ours and school systems across the state and across the country, really, um, for the last year or so. Students are hitting the classroom in as little as two weeks, and this shortage is forcing parents in some areas to find an alternative way of transportation for their kids to get to and from school. Bob Mosier is the Chief Communications Officer for Anne Arundel County Public Schools. He says the shortage is not only for the school bus drivers, but also with CDL licenses. That's part of the problem. The other part of the problem is that we are losing drivers as our other school systems to places like Walmart and Amazon um, who are offering more lucrative packages uh, for their services. So that's an issue we've been dealing with. Mosier says Anne Arundel County Public Schools currently has 64 bus driver vacancies, while Baltimore County Public Schools had 110 bus driver vacancies at the end of July. One school bus driver for Baltimore County has been transporting children to and from school for over 21 years. She asked to remain anonymous in fear of getting terminated for speaking out, but says she is currently looking for another job because driving a school bus isn't making ends meet. I'm looking for, for new jobs, yeah try to do something full time with health insurance and better pay. Those concerns play a role in wanting the career change, but she states the main reason for wanting out is discipline. One of the issues is that the fact that um, we have no control over any kind of discipline that happens whenever a student misbehaves, we're not able to um, write up a student and give them a day off the bus. Um, the school system has a hard time with um, making the rules stick. She says this is also a safety issue, stating students sometimes make threats to bus drivers but have no consequences for doing so. So parents, you know, say it's not their kids and that the, um, the schools, are, I, we feel, are, might be a little bit afraid of parents, of discipline. So it's a safety issue. You know, we're just like afraid to do anything anymore. We can't, we have no control over any kind of behavior. She says issues like these could be why many are reluctant to take a job like this. Mosier tells me Anne Arundel County Public Schools have built in a 10% compensation increase into their budget this year to attract more bus drivers, but the question still remains, will that be enough to entice those seeking a job to choose this one? All right, well, some